everybody, it's Denise from Wonderland Boutique and today I'm going to talk to you about Klarna. This is not a paid promotion and I'm not getting any kickback or anything like that for it. But if you don't know what Klarna, Klarna is, it's this awesome service where you can break down the payments into four payments using your checking or um, like your checking account or a debit or credit card. It's super easy. First and foremost, you need to download it from the Play Store or your App Store or whatever you have. I already have an account linked with one of my checking accounts, which I had to enter my debit card. So I'm just signing in to um, the app on my phone. And what it does is it creates a ghost card for you. So you're not even using your real um, debit card when you're paying for things. It creates a ghost card that links to your debit or credit card and that's what you pay for with it and that's what creates the ability to link it in four different payments. So this is really true, this shopping anywhere with Klarna, you can use Klarna anywhere. I have yet to find a website that I can't use it on. Um, before Amazon was listed, I would use Amazon. Thin Slim Foods is a place that I shop at for my low carbon keto food um, that is not a store. So like when I search for them, um, you have to shop for them through the URL. You can't view them through the app. But let me show you a little bit about the app just to give you um, an idea. So if you go to My Klarna, you've got all these different tabs on here for different things. Um, I just joined the rewards program, which was silly of me because I've been shopping on Klarna for some time now. So if you do join Klarna, join the rewards program. It's free to use. So for every time you... Um, purchase anything in Klarna, you get vibes and eventually you can build up to getting a gift card. It's kind of stupid not to if you're going to use it. Payments. This is where um, like different things that I have are, that are coming due. So you can see I bought from Amazon, Arctic, Thin Slim Foods. These are my completed ones that are already done. This is what's coming up next. So my next payment for Amazon is on February 14th. Then you can track your deliveries on here. I don't have it set up that way, but you can get updates on where your packages are. So definitely check that out. Your inbox is just, um, it's just little things like letting you know when your next payment is, when your next, when your payment is complete. So it's just like a little mailbox. Stores are different stores that you have shopped at. So these are the last ones I went to. Um, as you can tell, I love Amazon and I love being able to purchase from Klarna because then let's say if my purchase is $200, it's really only $50 because I only pay $50 for the first part. So in this purchases section, this is where you can go and see exactly what you purchased. So if I go to items, I can see everything that I bought on Amazon for this and this was the ghost card that it created. So this is not my debit card. This is a ghost card that it automatically creates that it links to my account. So like here it shows you all the things I bought in this one. These were all my items. This tells you, Dan, you're going to have to blank that out because that's my real card number. So it tells you how many installments you paid in and then the card used. That is your actual debit or credit card. So this is blanked out because it is linked to my checking account number. And then it tells you when the card was created. So it's super helpful. You can then go there and there's additional things um, that you can utilize. So if I wanted to check out the other transactions, that was Amazon. I can go to Arctic and check out what I bought on Arctic. It shows the plan. I've made two of four payments with $40.34 paid so far. It's pretty cool. You have the chance to pay off early using this button down here below. So if you decide to pay your next installment or the full purchase, you can do that. And then there's just more information here under that more button. So that's just kind of like the back end area of um, Klarna. So you know how to use your, your system. There is a help section you can go to for common questions, purchases, returns, refunds, how it works if a refund is made. So it just 
um, lowers the amount that is due on your final payment. So if you refunded $20 on a $60 um, payment, instead of it being broken up into the four original payments, your last payment is less money and your others are still the same. So for example, let, let me show you how I would like to go about doing this. Let's pretend this Amazon button is not here and I'm just gonna click Amazon. So let's say this was, so I'm gonna go to Amazon. And do you see how this pay with K came up here at the bottom? You have to shop through the Klarna app for the item. So you can't go to Amazon directly and then try to pay with Klarna. You have to shop through the Klarna app. Hi guys, Dan here in editing. Just wanted to throw a little point out there that not only can you shop via Klarna the way Denise is showing you, I do it a little bit of a different way and I wanted to give you both ways. How I do it is I usually go into Amazon on the app, the Amazon app. I put everything that I want in my cart and then go to checkout to see what the total is with tax. Once I have that total, I go over to the Klarna app and I create a one-time card uh, for Amazon, type in the total after tax, and generate the card. Then I go back to Amazon, add that card as a payment method, and continue my checkout. So both ways are valid, Denise's way and my way, and honestly, Denise's way is probably easier than mine. I just wanted to throw that out there. Thanks, guys. So I'm going to look at my um, orders. Okay. So this is, we order on Amazon all the time. So please don't judge, but we're always on Amazon. We get like our lives delivered to us from Amazon. I do have Amazon Prime, of course. So that's part of it. I don't know why my phone is freaking out or Amazon's freaking out. Okay, it's, it's, it's having a moment. So um, I want these lemon um, keto cookies that I was told about. Let me see if I can find them. Ah, the high key lemon cookies. So I find a lot of my low carb and keto items. No, I don't want fat snacks. Um, I find a lot of my low carb and keto items on Amazon. And I got a lot of my keto stuff from like my keto crate and other places. And then I end up finding them on Amazon. So I'm going to add these to cart. I have looked at these and tried to like price match them. There's really not much of a difference buying them from Amazon to um, through the direct website. So I rather just buy them through Amazon so I can get everything that I want. And then that way I can use Klarna. So I'm going to put together my order and then I'm going to show you how I check out with Klarna. Um, another thing, don't use your back button on your phone. Use the back button at the top within the app because otherwise it takes you out of the app. Okay, now that I've got my order together, I have everything that I want. So I can do pay with K right now. I click that button. How much is your purchase? One time card amount, $75.42. Continue. This is asking if it should add tax to cover it, just to be on the safe side. I, am, I know that there's a little bit of a tax, but I don't know how much, so 10% is fine. So I'm going to continue because if I try to do it with less amounts of money than what the total is, it's not gonna go through. So this tells me I'm gonna do four payments of $20.74 every two weeks. There's this option, which is the six monthly payments, but there is an APR that applies. I believe you have to apply for that, like a credit card. So I'm gonna do that where it comes out of my bank account every two weeks. So I'm gonna hit continue. So right now it's building my ghost card. Um, it's going to tell me how much the total cost is, 
what is due today and what it, how much is each payment. And then it tells me which card it's linked out of. So Daniel will have to blink that out for me. So confirm and continue. So right now Klarna is creating my ghost card for me. This is not a card that I own. This is a one-time use card that's showing up. So I won't be able to use this card any other time. So Klarna creates this card. And then um, you'll see that it's got a normal credit card number. It's got a month and a year and a CVV. So you will have to put that information in. So make sure you just write down, oops, make sure you write down the um, expiration date. You can then copy the card number. So it's copied to your clipboard. Then don't hit cancel card because then it gets uh, cancels the purchase. You want to exit out, right? And go to proceed to check out. So now this is where it gets a little weird with Amazon where you just got to make sure you're doing this right. Um, okay, so I'm going to set it to myself. I'm going to change the mailing address to me. Okay, now for payment information, what I need to do And then you're going to add a credit or debit card. And you already have your Klarna card copied. So the name on the card, you do have to fill in. That's your first and last name. I'm anal retentive and I need it capitalized. And then for the card number, just paste. And that is the Klarna number for the ghost card it created. And this is where I said you need that expiration date. So I just jotted it down next to me. It was 5 2021. So I'm gonna add your card. So it doesn't ask for the CVV, so you don't have to do it. This reference number, I have never had to fill that out. So I don't know what this is for. So I am using my Klarna card ending in 0841. So now I'm gonna hit continue. So here's my total, $77.67. I'm only paying $20 and some change today because I'm using my Visa ending in 0841, which is the Klarna Ghost Card. It's a one-time use. So then I'm just checking my shipping options tomorrow. Yes, that would be fantastic so I can have some snacks. Um, I want my snacks sooner, so I'm going to change the delivery date. Okay, so place your order. Okay, so your order has been placed and here's all my items. And then what you can do, just to double check that everyone everything went through, you can go back to your Klarna app, which you're in right now, exit out, and then it takes you back to Klarna. And then you can go to my Klarna and go to purchases. It might not show up yet, here it is right here waiting for purchase amazon.com so it's already there and that is my card that's valid for 24 hours and then it shows you how much your total was and your card creation date and pay in four and so let's say you wanted to go to a, a website let me show you for example um a store that is not in here so you can view all and view all the stores that are already featured stores and see all the ones that are in here. Lululemon, I know that's popular. Kohl's, Maurice's, Hobby Lobby, Sheen or Shane, however you say it, Ikea, just tons and tons of options. So like you can scroll through this list, you can search through this list, but let's say there's something that you want that's not through the Klarna app. And that would be this place that I shop at called Thin Slim Foods. So you have to search for it. Okay, and you hit the search. I don't know. And now it comes up with these all these products. You don't want that. And then there's this Google search right here. Search for thin slim foods on Google. Click that. Now what you have to do is go online. Now mind you, you're still in the Klarna app. 
and you have to click on the link to the store and then do all your shopping and then you can pay for it with Klarna. See, you still get your pay with K. So that's how you locate a store if it's not located in the Klarna app is you actually have to search for it in there and then click on it through the website. So like I said, I've never found a website that I can't use Klarna on. So it just takes a little patience to try to find what you're looking for. Um, I'm trying to think of a website that like might not be on here. I, we can try the high key. So for example, high key comes up with all these products, nothing what we're looking for. Let's look for high key on Google. And here we go, high key snacks, official site. So then you can go to their official site through the search on Google in the Klarna app. It's important that you always stay in the Klarna app. And then now I can shop the high key website and use, um, oops, and use Klarna to check out. See, pay with K. And if I exit out of there, I'm back to the Klarna app in the beginning. So this is, it took me a few minutes. No, I would say it took me a few tries to like get it right when I was paying for it on Amazon. But this app is so amazing and helps you budget your purchases so you're not making huge purchases all at once. And it's just an awesome, awesome app. I highly recommend Klarna. If you want to partner with somebody or do any type of support or sponsorship, please, please think of Denise from Wonderland Boutique because I am a big fan and I cannot not sing your praises enough. I hope you found this video helpful for your next shopping adventure online. Try Klarna out. Let, let me know what you think of it. Leave me a comment down below if you found this video helpful. I'm sure there's other tutorials out there. Um, I heard about this from a friend and then I just kind of figured it out for myself. So hopefully I can help you guys try um, a new way to pay for your, your shopping adventures online. So I hope you like this video. Give me a big thumbs up and hit that bell and notification icon so you can be alerted every time I upload a new video. And make sure you're following me on all my social media. Everything will be linked down below. It's Denise from Wonderland Boutique, and I hope to see you again real soon. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye. <music>